At New Era Systems, we make our living by buying and selling used satellite equipment. Today, I'm going to talk about Comtech CDM570L modems. As you can see, we have quite a few in stock. Most of our customers are familiar with these modems and need no instructions. Sometimes, there are questions. There will be a series of videos, each one dealing with a different aspect of testing these modems. For the short test, I've connected the modem to the spectrum analyzer. The L-band transmit port on the CDM570L is connected to an N-type connector running out to a cable that in a moment I will connect to the spectrum analyzer. Because these units come with a 24 volt power supply, the first thing I need to do is to check and see whether that power supply is enabled or not. So I'm going to go to config well, the chances are that it's set in the mode instead of local mode. Let's check. Yes, it's in serial, so I'm going to change it to local. Next, I'm going to go to ODU, buck, and DC power. DC power is on, so connect to off and press clear. Now I know that I am safe to connect the output from the modem to the input of the spectrum analyzer. As an added precaution on my spectrum analyzer, I have a DC block. Even if I had left the 24 volt enabled, it wouldn't have damaged this amplifier. Not everyone has this, so it's always safe to go to the modem first and make sure you disable it. Now I'm going to check the output parameters on this modem. Transmit, modulation, QPSK. This one only has PPSK, QPSK, but it also has turbo. In this case we're running at three quarters QPSK. Data rate is 128K. Frequency is 950 MHz. That's what I need to set onto the spectrum analyzer to be able to see the output. Now I'm going to check the power output. Minus 20, kind of medium range. I'll set it down just a little bit. There, yeah, minus 30 is even better. And now I'm going to go over and turn on the transmit. Now the spectrum analyzer shows a nice beam signal, 128K. And my next step is to set it up in test mode. The modem is transmitting a carrier, so now I'm going to go into test mode. And I'm going to set up an IF loopback test. The IF loopback will test both the transmit and the receive of this modem. The IF. Now when we look at the monitor lights, we can see all are green, showing that we have unit status good, TX and RX are all fine. Let's go and look at the monitor, because on the monitor, received RX parameters, we can see on here that the, the reading on the receive side is 16 dB, and the bit error rate is 0 times 10 to the minus 9, which of course means no errors at all. This concludes a very quick basic test of this modem.